Hello and welcome to another update video about FET Fetch AI. Um, situation is basically unchanged here. We are still looking for another high. Um, the idea is obviously that FET has been coming down here in a wave two, highlighted in white. Yeah, so far our major support level did hold at 17.6 cents. However, price so far has failed to rally in an impulsive fashion. It hasn't even produced a diagonal. Okay, so while our support that we communicated did hold so far, I'm not very confident because so far, while some other altcoins have really produced five wave moves to the upside of the 10th of June low, FET just simply hasn't. Okay, and overall, Still a lot of weakness here, as you can see, no new high, just making lower lows, lower highs, clear downtrend. I mean, and even if you, even if you were drawing here a bit of a trend line, maybe from that top down to, yeah, you could call it a breakout, but uh, first, well, okay, you have three touch points in this trend line, but normally volume needs to go up when you break a trend line and it really needs to go and it just doesn't. Okay, so it's quite a bearish sign at the moment, at least short term. I'm still looking at um, the possibility that here obviously a third wave can start, but maybe not just yet. I cannot confirm that a lasting low in is in place and therefore we are following the orange wave count. Now, in the orange wave count, I'm not too happy with how it's looking at the moment. So I'm going to take that out because this is not, um, I mean, the orange wave count, we would have a one, two, three. Now this wave four became too massive. And then with one more low. So I don't believe that one anymore. That's clearly not how it is working out. If this is a bearish cut or if we get one more low. Yeah, um, that doesn't mean we couldn't be in the fifth wave, but I would probably need to rearrange the waves a little bit. I mean, so far I'm counting this as a W x y structure um the y wave gets very long now so i might need to look at some alternatives but that is really just the micro count um at the moment i think it's enough to know that there is a good chance we go down lower and especially it's expected actually yeah a new low would be expected as long as our price yeah fet cannot form five waves to the upside the yellow count shows what we need to see to believe yeah that here a lasting low has been made there's probably even let me just double check that down here but that doesn't matter so much here yeah okay so the 10th of june would be the low but then what do we need to see well i mean the support holds but it's a highlight in orange so it's high risk okay um so the idea is here in a more bullish interpretation okay we could say yeah you know wave one wave two this would be a three, but then this would be a four, maybe even unfolding as a triangle and then one more high. But until I see that one more high, I don't believe it. Yeah, because it completely, you know, it, it would be a bullish bias if I was to call this. OK, this is bullish. It's not. It's just a three wave move to the upside. And in contrast to what some other altcoins have done, FET hasn't even produced five waves up. So how do we proceed from there? Well, I will lose complete confidence in the yellow count below the 61.8 retracement. That would just be too deep for reliable wave four. So if price breaks below that level, I think we are um, dealing with something more bearish here. Yeah, if we get a sustained break below 20.4 cents. Um, as long as it's holding that, I think we can give it a chance, but it obviously would need, it would need a sustained break well, at least a substantial break above 25.5 cents to put that fifth wave in. If we get it, this fifth wave, then we can calculate support for a wave two pullback. I need to move all of this to the side. Um, but yeah, this is sort of what we need to see, right? And to the downside, I mean, there are different ways of, of labeling this. Yeah, I mean, I could even say that in the Y wave, we deal with another WXY. That's where it gets uh, a bit messy or corrective, but it's not a WXYXZ, at least not yet. The move up here down there is just not substantial enough. So if we have a WXY, nothing stopping that this, you know, this Y wave could easily be another um, WXY. So, and then we're looking at this, yeah. And then in this Y wave, we have an A wave, a B wave, and then possibly here a C wave. But this just doesn't add up with what's down here. It just looks it just looks very, very strange. Yeah. Um 
just thinking if there's another possibility but or even here a b and then one two but also this is well that might work or some kind of an ending diagonal so what is m possible here to label this maybe an a wave a b wave and then just a very long c wave and then we've got if we look at five waves a uh, possible wave one wave two as a flat then the wave three here um a four and the five in an ending diagonal. I will take it out because it now overlaps with the yellow count, um, the more bullish one, but be aware that one more low is certainly possible. The wave count still allows for one. Um, it is a possible trend change situation, but if we're honest, it doesn't look in any way different to this structure here, which unfolded in May. So also a three wave move up, as you can clearly see, very, very similar structure. And yeah, it can easily break down. Yeah, and below 20.4 cents, I think we have a loss of support. Next support, then 17.5 cents and then 12. All right, that's my update about FET. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.